I think Inter played really well. I think Inter have played really well the last few games, and I think that. Um, I, There's I, a reason behind it. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah kind of we're going to talk about that. Your favorite well, I, I think it's simpler. I think, you know, for most of the season, Raja doesn't yeah. like that. You know, the, the pass for the was it the second goal in the half. I mean, that's what he has in his locker, right? Yeah. The reason you don't go shut him down there is because he can drive past you and dribble, and so you sit off him, and then he uncorks something like that. You know, that's when he's fit, he can do that. Um, Vecino, just simply because of the way he's built, is somebody who is going to have highs and lows during the season, and now he's closer to a high. I think it's as simple as that. Perisic showed up. He's been really good these last few games. Well, this last See, game. I, 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 I think Gab no, really Gabri doesn't League. like this. And, you know, you tell me if I'm wrong, but I think you really don't like this narrative that there's been in the Italian press of uh, Icardi's Icardi gone problem, and yeah. everyone's sort of free of him. But how? I, but the proof I, is in the pudding. You know, as we're well, pudding. Inter finished fourth last year with Icardi. They yeah. spent a whole ton of money in the summer, and now they're in danger of not finishing top four. So. How are they going to be better without Icardi? I think because as is, you know... Because they drew with Fiorentina? I mean, I... As okay, is, imagine they had another striker. Could they have not reached second? It depends who the other striker was. If it's Alessandro Ma Matri, probably not. Look, if it's, you know... You know what I'm If it's Lewandowski, about. probably yes. You're talking <laughs> about equal allowance of talents, but without all the drama, without the uh, lack of leadership skills, with everything that Icardi comes with off the pitch. It's funny, because before the show, we said we weren't going to talk know. about Icardi. I know, I know. But I'm, I'm honestly genuinely asking you, you know, you don't think that certain things like this can have an effect and a negative effect on your team. I honestly don't know. I mean, obviously, the, 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 there's an issue with the players who didn't like, you know, Wanda going on television and saying they should pass the ball more, this guy should play more. But you know what? By the same token, I kind of feel like freaking grow up, be professionals, do your job. Don't just go and blame him. And if you want to argue that Icardi could have played better, that Icardi could be a better link man, he could be a better leader, all that is fine. But when it comes down to it, Icardi is better at... Scoring. doing his job, mm -hmm. which is playing football, than any other Inter player with the possible exception of Skriniar. So just deal with it. These are your teammates. Be professional. You know, you may not like everybody you work with either. In fact, we know you don't. So, <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding. Oh. But do you, do, do you know what I mean? So I don't know. Like, all of a sudden, we in the media, we like to overreact. And, uh, and in Italy, especially, we often overreact to results more than performances. This was a good performance. But I don't think it was simply down to the fact that Icardi wasn't there. <laughs> so one of the rumors, and this is purely rumor and speculation, so please don't say Gab Marcotti said blah, blah, blah. Unless it actually happens, in which case you can remind them that um, <laughs> I pointed this out uh, today, February 26, 2019, BCE. Uh, sorry, um, CE. Um, <laughs> BCE. Sorry, oops. <laughs> uh, there's a suggestion that the way Juve are going to solve all their, their problems from the financial cliff edge that they're heading towards is uh, a Dybala for Icardi swap, <laughs> presumably with yeah. Reams of Cash for yeah. going going both ways to uh, to go and fix the books. Yeah. I presume you would not be in favor of that. You're just swapping, <laughs> you're swapping out one villain for another one. No, I'm, 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 <laughs> look how quick I can tell you something. For me, at least Icardi can do something in a big game. Yeah, so. He <laughs> doesn't like Dybala either. So I'm not a huge fan of Dybala. No, I know, I know. So that, I know that, that, that's why I was curious. Like. Well, listen, I'll be honest. I just think that management, the management at Juventus can handle a player like Icardi a little bit more. Do you know what? Cristiano, though. Do you know what? It'd be fun. Yeah. I was curious about that. Uh, that's an interesting point. I would, I'd be so fascinated by the Icardi Cristiano sort of dynamic. You know what, they work. could, yeah, because and, mm, and that's you know, so true. <laughs> no, let's have two guys up there. Who are the most <laughs> eager to, <laughs> and then, you know what, let's bring Angelotti as their coach. An observation that, 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 that supports this, um, which, you know, again, um, I'm, I'm not sort of on the phone to, to Wanda and Mara every day, but I have heard a lot <laughs> from a lot of people that they do really like living in Milan and being where they are. And so a move to Turin is the one obvious one you can make without having to give that up.